So, fun fact, I um, technically, I guess, got kicked out of my basic training graduation. What's up my friends? Welcome to an all new video. I'm US Army veteran Christopher Chaos and today I'm doing a little video kind of like a little story time to tell you about how I essentially got uh, kicked out of my basic training graduation so I didn't actually participate in basic training graduation. Now if you're interested in joining the United States Army, maybe curious about the Army, maybe a veteran or someone currently serving yourself and you want to see more information about the United States Army, maybe you want to watch some fun stories like this episode here, well then think about hitting that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. Also click on that bell to get alerts as soon as new videos go live to include the live streams and become a part of that awesome notification platoon. Check out links down in the description for social media. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, that Chris Chaos, or just look me up, Christopher Chaos. I'm pretty easy to find. So. Let's do a little story time and let me tell you about my graduation for basic training. So it was a dark, gloomy day in Fort Benning, Georgia. Maybe, I don't think I remember the, the exact weather, but it was the last couple of days, right, of basic training. And we're in the process now of rehearsing and practicing for the ceremony. Now, when I graduated basic training, you're just in the dress uniform. We called it the class A's at that point in time, but you had just the dress uniform and that's all you did during graduation was just wear that one. The current one, they kind of, you know, do some fancy stuff and they maybe, you know, change into different versions of the uniform from the PTs to the camos to the, you know, dress uniform and everything like that. But this one was just straight up your class A's, your green ones that we had back then. And that's all you wore for your graduation. So that was the attire for graduation, but while we were doing rehearsals, we were just in, you know, the BDU uniform is the woodland camouflage one at that point in time. So we're just in the woodland camouflage uniform and we're practicing the ceremony and we have to kind of march up to the position for where the main ceremony will take place. So we had to practice that whole marching thing, right? And when you do these types of events, even outside of basic training, they always like to have the tallest people at the front for whatever reason. I feel like it makes it kind of weird because then all your tall people are at the front and blocking all the shorter people or whatever. I feel like you should have probably the tall people at the back, but I, I don't know what their methodology is, but that's how it worked was all the tall people are at the front of the formation. So I was probably like the second tallest person probably in my basic training unit. And there was another guy who was much taller than me that was the pivot man on the end of the formation. I was right next to him because I was probably, like I said, the second you know, tallest person. So he was the main person that had to do all the pivoting and everything. This guy was you know, one of your kind of big, tall, clumsy kind of guys. He's actually the only person I think I've ever known that didn't have an, an MOS when they came into basic training. They didn't get an MOS until like about halfway through basic training. I think he ended up becoming a photographer or something like that. But he was gonna be the pivot man. And he, like I said, he was kind of like a clumsy, big, tall person. So. He was doing horrible. He was doing really bad at the marching and everything like that. So the drill sergeants kicked his ass out of the formation. That meant I had to step up. I had to move to be in that pivot person. And so when you're doing this formation and it's a large formation, you can't just simply execute a right face or a left face or whatever it is when you're you know, making those movements and everything. You kind of have to do like this wagon wheel kind of effect. So I remember it wasn't really on point and I don't think I was, you know, quite on, you know, the exact timing of when they said, you know, you know, call them right, right, you know, that's the command, you know, so you're, you're doing the right, you know, pivot kind of way to allow for the formation to kind of wagon wheel through it. And I think I was probably a little off on the timing or whatever. I wasn't really that good at marching when I was in basic training. I later got better, but at that point in time, I was really new to that stuff. So I wasn't very good. So because I wasn't very good, I ended up getting kicked out of the formation. So me, this other dude, and it ended up being, I think, a couple other people too, maybe, that ended up getting kicked out of the formation because they sucked at marching. So I remember the drill sergeants, they talked to us, they're like, hey, what's up? Do you have family coming out for the ceremony? Anything like that. And both me and the other guy were like, no, we don't have any family coming. You know, my family was back in California and they weren't coming all the way out to Georgia to watch me graduate. I didn't really care. I even told my family, I don't really care. If you want to, cool, but I don't really care if you come out for my graduation. So I didn't have anybody coming. So I think that maybe if I did have family, maybe they would have worked with me and did something so that I could be in the graduation ceremony. So because I didn't have family coming, they just were like, hey, all right, you guys are gonna be on cleanup detail to clean up the barracks while the ceremony's going on. I was cool with that. I really didn't mind too much, uh, especially like afterwards and hearing the stories of how the ceremony actually went. 
Because I remember me and the other guys, we were cleaning up the barracks, right? It's the last couple of days of basic training before we all move on to AIT and everything. So you have to get everything squared away, get everything cleaned up and stuff. So we're cleaning up the barracks, getting everything good to go. And they're doing the graduation ceremony. And then they all come back and start telling us the stories about how the ceremony went. It's Georgia. It was September, so it's hot as hell. And they had apparently a couple people they were like passing out, maybe because they were locking their knees, maybe because you're in these really hot dress uniforms and it's hot as crap in Georgia in September. So I remember hearing some stories about, oh yeah, so-and-so passed out and then so-and-so passed out and all that stuff like that. Uh, it was hot as hell. They're like sweating through the uniform and everything like that. So I was pretty glad that I was in PTs just having to mop and clean up in the barracks. So I feel like I kind of made out on the better end. I mean, we still, after, you know, the cleanup and after the whole process of, you know, doing the ceremony and everything that we still got to do family time. We didn't have any family, you know, coming to watch us graduate. And there was other people that were like that situation that were in the ceremony, but also didn't have people, you know, you know there for family day to kind of go off with. So we got to, you know, still take off and go do family day stuff. And in this case, be on our own for a few hours and I just didn't have to participate in the ceremony. So of course, yes, I did graduate basic training, obviously, but I didn't do the ceremony and I'm kind of glad that I didn't, I guess. To me, being in that ceremony wasn't that important to me. My important thing was graduating and moving on to AIT and then graduating AIT. So being in the ceremony wasn't that big of a deal to me. So what are your thoughts? Maybe, you know, do you think, you know, that, you know, sucks and maybe it would have been good to be in that ceremony or are you kind of on my train of thought of where, man, eh, screw it, doesn't really matter. Nobody was there from family to watch me. So it's not that big of a deal. Leave me some comments down in the comment section down below. Also, the new kind of setup as far as how the videos look to tomorrow's video or maybe depending on when you're watching this, another video that came after this one has also a different kind of look to it. Love to hear your comments down below. What do you think of this kind of style? You know, this kind of style of hanging out at the desk to talk to you for some story time and then there'd be the other style you'll see in the next video. If you want to talk to some other individuals that are maybe interested in joining the army, maybe some people that are currently in the army, some veterans, whatever the case is, I definitely recommend joining the Discord channel. I'll leave a link down in the description down below for you to join. There's also links for social media. Like I said, follow me on Instagram, all that kind of fun stuff. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that thumbs up for me. I got a couple other videos over here for you to check out. I got a little short playlist for some other stories. Maybe if you want to hear some more stories from a veteran like myself, check out this short little playlist I got going on over here. And then my latest upload right there from either the previous video or the newest video, depending on when you're watching this. Check those out. I'm Christopher Chaos. I'll see you next time. See ya.